education. I did too, you know. I, I, when I came here, I thought, you know, being an elder uh, scholar, like they call me, and you know, putting that emphasis on elder, uh, <laughs> uh, that at least they would have a golf cart for me. <laughs> I had to walk from the Quinto de Bono over here. I mean, that is really a far uh, stretch. So what I'm trying to get at in my rambling way is the essence of Chicano studies. The essence of Chicano studies is, you know, I got into Chicano studies because not really through Marxism, but through being a, uh, uh, at that time, being a student of just a negation and uh, the scholastic method. And I started to get into it, like for example, when, when they're talking about uh, the uh, takeover uh, or you know, occupy uh, uh, Wall Street. Well, I, I look back into my education from the Jesuits and I, and, and I look at it and I say, you know what, in the Middle Ages, if a person, if a person was, uh, uh, was committing the sin of usury, usually is loaning out money at a high interest rate or loaning out money at an interest rate. You were committing a mortal sin and you were going to go to hell. So I look at uh, the people on Wall Street, the capitalists there, as people who are going to go to hell, you see. But I also learned in, the, in my education, in learning about epistemology, you are the product of how you obtain knowledge how you get that knowledge, and then, because that's going to determine what knowledge you have, you see. And this is what I wanted about Chicano studies, and Chicano Chicano studies is for us to look at the knowledge, you see, and change that, how we acquire knowledge, and how we grow in that acquiring of the knowledge. And I think we start to look at that. We start to look 